Hi, this is Billy Bean here with a World News Flash update. Today's date, May 11, 2024, time about 11 a.m. in Texas, episode 160. Continuing a flash update on what's going on with the sun. Last night we had two to three CMAs from the sun, coronal mass ejections come from the sun, uh, direct hits on the earth, produce auroras on a global basis. In the U.S., um, well, we had Canada, the Arctic, down to uh, Texas, Alabama, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, San Francisco, Arizona, down into South America, Cuba, down to Puerto Rico, down to Antarctica, and also including Africa, uh, Europe, Spain, uh, the UK, uh, Scandinavian countries, including Norway and Sweden, Russia, down to Australia, New Zealand. So we see a global uh, aurora event. And this morning in Houston, Texas, on the Channel 2 Houston TV channel, they were still talking at 8 o'clock this morning that in Houston, on the horizon, we could still see a pink aurora. So we see it was ongoing. It began like the middle of the afternoon yesterday, last night, and is still continuing and gets set for many more. We had this morning two more X flares, very strong. And we have, according to one source, eight, eight CMEs coming in. So now I'll go into uh, what to expect. There will be dramatic impacts and major earthquakes and volcanoes, at least in the next 30 days. So next 30 days, expect large earthquakes and volcanoes. That's because the CMEs come in, impact the earth. Now, I already had from God in the fall of 2020 that magma was rising in all directions inside the earth. But these CMEs, these shock jolts we're receiving from the sun, also increase the core temperature. And this produces large earthquakes and CMEs. Expect large ones in the next 7 to 30 days. And also increases and produces large volcanoes by the same token, because the core temperature is warming up. We can expect in, on weather, intensification and frequency of storms. Apparently, this will be on a global basis for the next seven days plus, because we have new information this morning about additional storms coming in. We're up to eight. CMEs coming in. So on Friday, May 10, we had two to three come in. We're expecting more today, May 11, May 12, May 13, and possibly longer because we have new sunspots putting off additional CMEs. Now we had this morning so this is Saturday, May 11. We had two X flares uh, coming off. And my sources on all of this, uh, Suspicious Observers, Dr. Tabitha Skoll, uh, Bestin Taylor, BP Earthwatch. So we had this morning two X flares, a 5.8 and a 1.2. Now, Dr. Tabak, the uh, scowl increased the number of storms. We had seven, and she added one because she's picking up 
what's coming off of sunspot 3668 in addition to 3664. So she believes this will continue uh, at least until May 13, Monday, possibly longer. And we had on uh, Friday, so on Friday, May 10, we had a geomagnetic storm 5. We had a KP index of 9. Now, Ben Davidson with suspicious observers is still putting the kill shot from the sun at 12%. So I expect we may see changes in that later today or tomorrow. Yeah, so now we have a number seven flare coming off the sun, 5.8. And we've seen three come in. That was on Friday. We have, it was four to equal seven, but now Dr. Sko's new information it's now five more impacts. Preston Taylor reporting yesterday the Department of Defense gave a warning and the U.S. Army uh, also issued emergency alerts uh, checking about the CMEs coming in affecting the power grid, GPS. And so we have that going on. Uh, May 10 in the afternoon, a jolt to the earth. That's what we saw. How Turner's information is, and uh, this came from yesterday, May 10. The next 72 hours, expect several large earthquakes in the next 72 hours, and also possibly volcanoes beginning May 10 in the middle of the afternoon yesterday. Suspicious Observers is saying for the next 10 hours from May 10 to May 11, expect earthquakes, volcanoes, and expect those to go on for at least 30 days. But that's associated with the three uh, CMEs we had come in yesterday so now we know we have five more to go through Monday. I expect um, some of this uh, may change over the weekend to expect stronger geomagnetic storms and, um, and more intense KP index auroras. So VP Earthwash reported this morning two X flares, 5.8, 1.5 this morning. And he added up to seven CMEs, but Dr. Sko came out a, a few hours ago with eight coming in. And we will see auroras again on a global basis. We will see additional impact. I know my uh, internet was out from like uh, late yesterday afternoon until about two hours ago. So we have that going on. This concludes my flash, but uh, I want uh, us to be aware that we are under intense uh, geomagnetic storms coming in. And as uh, Ben Davidson and Hal Turner's information was, expect large earthquakes and volcanoes within 10 hours. So I say keep your powder dry. Now is a great time to prep and pray. I love you, and I'll see you soon.